Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday, rainy day. Um, today I have a fun day planned for you guys that's going to involve um, a lot of building and architecture and engineering and um, some fun things to do for math and for um, science. But um, I thought that you would enjoy that because I was trying to, because we don't have school tomorrow because it's Good Friday, I thought I would try to make it a more fun day today on Thursday so that you can enjoy um, this day today and the rainy day inside. Um, yesterday we did our scavenger hunt for the different solid shapes and you guys found some really great cones and spheres and cylinders and cubes. Um, I wanted to take just a second to talk to you about this word sphere because a lot of people will, in, in math, will say spear, because they see the S and the P and they'll say spear, but it's not spear, because we've talked about in our class how P and H together makes the F, -f sound, as in phone. Um, so when you're saying the word sphere, make sure you say it S, F, -f, 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 -s -f, -f ear, sphere, okay? Um, today we're going to be building some, um, some solid shapes out of the shapes that we made, the flat shapes that we made a few days ago. Um, now there's not going to be, uh, we're not going to have the ability to make some of these shapes. Um, there's going to be three shapes on here that we're not even going to be able to build because they don't have those straight sides. Okay. So can you think of the three that we will not be able to build because they don't have straight sides? Let's just go over them together. Does the cube have a straight have straight sides? That means the straight lines. Yes, we're going to be able to do the cube. What about the sphere? Do you see any straight lines on the sphere or are they all curves? Yeah, they're curved. We're not going to be able to do the sphere today. How about the cone? Nope, because the bottom of the cone is a circle, so we're not going to be able to do the cone. And the cylinder, what do you think about the cylinder? No, nope, we're not going to be able to do the cylinder either because the faces, they call them faces. The top face and the bottom face of the cylinder are both circles, and we can't make a circle out of a straight line. So we're not going to be able to do this, but we're going to do the cube out, and we're going to start with the square. So... Um, what you're going to do to build your cube today, um, you can use, again, the toothpicks and marshmallows, or you can use blueberries or grapes, or um, a lot of you use Play-Doh or building clay. That worked out great, too. Um, you're going to build, oh, I, should, I forgot my, um, my, my sticks. Hold on. Let me see here. I forgot my Q-tips. I mean, my... Uh, my toothpicks. You're going to build, just dismantle and see if I have enough. You're going to build a bunch of squares here. And then we'll hook them together with some more sticks. Let's see if I can make this work. Sorry, I forgot to get my toothpicks out of the cabinet. My brain is foggy today. All right, so now I have two squares, and this will become my my top and my bottom of the square for my cube. And then what I'm going to do is get um, some sides to connect. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four more um, toothpicks. Let's see here. And one way to save resources, huh? And what I'll do is I'll just stick these in like this. Hopefully they'll hold for you to see. Um, so today, in addition to building these geometric solids, we're going to build a couple of them. Um, you're also going to get a chance to build a bird's nest for science, and I, I'm a, I sent you a video of that because we're going to be talking about habitats and animal homes today. And I also sent you a really cool video on different animals um, building 
it's called Animal Architects, and they're all building their homes. It's really amazing. You know, we live in our own little homes, and we don't think about how the animals are having to build their own homes, but they do. Nobody tells them how to do it. They just know how to do it. It's amazing. Okay, so here's my cube. I just built it out of my toothpicks and my uh, marshmallows. And uh, you guys can build your cube today with, um, remember these corners are the vertices, right? And on a three-dimensional side, um, we call these edges on a three-dimensional shape, okay? So here's my cube, you guys can see that. And um, I'm gonna build one more shape. This shape that um, I wanna build for you now is, is a shape that we haven't talked about, but I know some of you know this shape. Um, and I'm not even gonna say what it is. I'm just gonna build it and see if you guys can figure out what it is. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna start with my triangular base on the bottom. Okay, this is the triangle. This is the plain shape or flat shape that I built a couple of days ago. And now I'm gonna take my, my triangular base and I'm gonna add three more um, toothpicks and I'm gonna bend them towards each other. Does anyone know what I'm getting ready to build now? This is this 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 is a solid shape that was not in our work yesterday, but it is a solid shape. Um, and if you get a chance and you want to drive, you want to go on a drive maybe this weekend or um, sometime over spring break, you should drive to Long Beach State because they have one of these on their campus, and it's huge, and it is their their gym where they play basketball and volleyball and it's where um, Mr. Knipe works and my boys when they were little used to call it Daddy's Pyramid but it's not a, I, it, it used to say Daddy's Triangle, it's not a triangle but it's one of these. Can you see that? So this, my friends, is a pyramid. Okay, so we've got triangular faces on this side and on this side and on the bottom too. So it's made up of three different triangles. And again, these marshmallows are called vertices and then these sides on a solid shape are called edges. Okay, and we're gonna be talking about that in math after spring break. But today I want you to try to build the two shapes, um, the cube and the pyramid. And I want, if you guys get a chance, I really want you to go see the Pyramid at Long Beach State. It's really, it's really a remarkable building to see. It's huge. It's the biggest pyramid I've seen, but someday I want to go to Egypt and see the pyramids um, that were built by hand many, many, many years ago. I've never been able to go do that, but that's on my bucket list. So anyway, have a great time today in math. You're going to build those two solid shapes and then... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to read you a story called Animal Homes today, and you're going to learn about some homes that these animals are building, um, and then complete page 83 and 84. These are some meerkats in their homes, and I sent you a video about that and talked with you about that, and then... Um, also, you're going to get a chance in your science journal to do a bird's nest, and I forgot my, my science book. I'm having a rough morning. Let me go grab it. Okay, so in your science journal right here, <clears throat> at the end of our chapter, we... Um, it's on page 28 and it's showing a bird and, and two types of bird's nests. One of the bird's nests would be like the one that I'm gonna show you at my house. It's an above ground nest and then sometimes birds will build a nest in the ground too and that's this one. And then um, there's a list of materials that you can use if you can find these at home or you, really you can use anything you want. Um, and then over here is a place for you to design or draw your um, nest. What kind of a nest do you want to build today? And then um, 
If you want to, you get to go out and make your own nest today. You can use mud from this rain, rainy soil that we're, we're, we have available to us today. Um, grab some sticks or things and you get to build your own nest, okay? Um, if you don't want to build your own nest and you just want to draw and design your own nest, you can do that too. It's up to you. So I hope you guys have a great day today in math and science. Um, enjoy the, the story that I'm going to um, read to you today called Animal Homes. It's a nonfiction story. And then um, I'm hoping that you guys get a chance today, um, or even if you don't want to do it today, you could do it tomorrow. Um, I want to see you guys write in your writing journal about Easter, and I want to see what is it about Easter that it, that you love that makes it special to you. And although this year Easter might feel a little bit different to you because we're all at home, um, you can still find ways to make it fun and special for yourselves. And um, big shout out to um, to my friends yesterday who. Yu Tong and to David and to Jacob who made their bunny crafts yesterday. They looked so great and I it just filled me with the spirit of the Easter holidays. So um, if you didn't get a chance to make those crafts, you can make them today or tomorrow or, or, or maybe you guys have your own decorations at home. You can share those too. Oh, and Jordan's Easter basket too. I don't want to forget that one too. So hope you guys have a great day today. Enjoy the learning and please send me pictures. I can't wait to see what you guys are up to today. Have a great day.